Hello from Pataudry, ahead of our Red TV match day coverage today, it's Aberdeen against St Mirren. You don't need me to tell you that it's been a pretty miserable run, hasn't it? One win in eight and the Dons haven't scored in the last four. Let's hope for better today against a St Mirren team uh, who haven't won here for ten years. Let's hope that's a trend that continues. Uh, let's have a word with these two who will be alongside me for the, the match day coverage. A former Don, Stuart Duff, an injured Don in Michael Devlin. And the first thing to say, Michael, is how are you and uh, how's your recovery going? Yeah, it's okay. Um, it's it's been a, a little bit sticky in, in the last couple of weeks. It's uh, my, my ankle slid up a little bit, but we're getting there. We're getting on top of it. Um, we're taking the advice that, that we need to take uh, to try and move forward with it and, and see the progression that, that we need. So we'll get there. We'll get there. It's just about kind of resting just now, letting things settle down, and, and then hopefully going to pitch run uh, and we can ramp it up pretty quickly from that point. So it's just about being patient. Stuart's been a, a tough spell for for the Dons. How optimistic are you um, that we can get some joy, that we can see some uh, some good football and the right result today? Well, I'm I'm a positive person in general, to be honest. I think the the form that they've been been in of late, you know, hasn't hasn't been to the standard of Aberdeen. However, you know, I think the potential is there for them to really kick on. The new signings that have come in, the loanees, I think they'll make a big difference. They'll be integrated into the squad and. I really think Aberdeen will go out and uh, produce a performance that the fans in the club can be proud of today. Do you think we'll see Flo Camberry today, Michael? I think um, if available, then I'm sure Flo will probably play, yeah. Um, I'm not sure what the team is, if we've got that news yet, but I think at this point we're going through a slightly difficult spell just now, and I think Flo's experience and quality, um, having played against them as well, I think he's, he's one of the one of the best centre-forwards I've played against in the last couple of years in the Premier League. I think he went to Rangers and done very well. Um, so I think his experience and quality will be important for us. I feel since we've since since Marley's left, um, I think that was big shoes to fill, and I, I feel really complimented Scott Wright and Ryan Hedges uh, well when they, when they were playing and, and, and as a front three were very positive and everything Aberdeen were doing. So I think Flo will hopefully step into that kind of void that's that's been left since since Marley's moved on and, and hit the ground running. There are plenty of incentives, Stuart, to get the right result today. One of them being, of course, that Hibs aren't playing because their game in Dingwall is off today. So it means that the Dons know that a win gets them to within two points of third place and maybe changes the complexion a bit. That's that's a, that's got to be the ambition, you know, the club to get back into that third position spot. I think realistically, it's achievable. Definitely, they were the score that they've got. Uh, having the game, you know, before Hibs play as well, I think it makes a big effect mentally. Uh, they then puts the pressure back on Hibs after a disappointing result last week down there. Um, but I've, I've got full faith in the in the squad today that they'll get a result and really push on and kick on the the remainder of the season. Stuart's optimistic, I feel like getting to me as well. Are you optimistic? Are you feeling positive, Michael, about the result today? Yeah, very much so. Yeah, I think certainly in my time at the club, I feel that when things maybe we've had a poor result or been a slight slump, the players and, and the staff have got a real ability to bounce back from, from disappointment. I think that's what we need to do today. I think we need to do our best to go get three points. Um, I see a group of, of boys that are hungry to, to put things right and, and I think we need to take responsibility as players as well that you know, maybe performance levels haven't been where they are um, and individually we can all do better I think in football you can only look at yourself first um, and that's what I'd like to see I'm sure the boys are, are feeling hurt just now because we, we don't feel that we're, we're given you know, the best version of ourselves just now for the manager and for the club uh, and we'll look at doing that today in, in terms of putting that right and, and getting three points for the club Good to hear from the two of you and we'll hear more obviously on the match day coverage. It's a three o'clock kickoff. We'll also hear uh, an interview with uh, Flo Camberry pre-match as well. As usual, we're on air at uh, half past two with all the build-up and the team news ahead of the big kickoff. Join us for that.